Do you remember when Louisville's beloved steamboat was sabotaged and left to become one with the Ohio River? It happened 25 years ago and in the very same place where the Bell of Louisville sits today. Shay McAllister and editor Todd Prince take a look back in this week's WHAS 11 Vault. The lights must go on as the night creeps up and still the Bell of Louisville is an injured vessel. The first call came into the newsroom late at night. The beloved Bell of Louisville was sinking right next to the shore. Just absolute tragedy. One of the greatest boats of this century is on the bottom of the Ohio River, and now we're trying like the devil to get her up. Jack Custer, a Bell historian, was there that night, speculating on how the historic vessel might have gone underwater. Probably something very um, accidental, uh, probably nothing malicious or anything like that. Just could be something purely an incidental thing that happened and it was not caught to too late and then all of a sudden it uh, happened now she sunk at that time no answers on exactly what happened everyone focused on finding a fix well it's the bell of louisville it's you know it's pride of louisville type thing and to see it in the water with a pump on the front. Hours later as the sun rose over louisville we took to sky 11 to get a view of the progress from sky 11 it looks like a toy boat that a small child couldn't get to float in the bathtub but this is a real boat, a slice of Americana in peril. All of a sudden, everyone started reminiscing on the Bell's history. According to the documentary, the cost to build the paddle wheeler in 1914 was about $80,000. Jefferson County would later purchase what was then known as the Idle Wild and rename it for $34,000 in the 1960s. Three decades later, it was sinking and the community flocked to the shores to watch it go. They lined the riverfront, each getting a glimpse of the bell in trouble. All communities just rallied around us and we've had food donations from di different places. And It's sad to see her like that, but the better day is coming for her. Within days, special pumps were brought in to suck out the water as divers took to underneath, sealing off the vulnerable spots. Louisville dive team was on standby just in case. We don't know what's happened to the boat. So they can get in sharp objects. Any, anything can, can actually happen when you get down in black water because you can't see. Everything's by feel. By the end of the week, progress. The Coast Guard and investigators were finally able to inspect the boat from all sides, examining the damage and narrowing in on a possible cause. What was at first assumed accidental, later became called a crime. Brennan James Callan, a UofL student at the time and seasonal employee for the Bell of Louisville, was charged in connection to the incident. In 1999, he was found guilty and sentenced to more than two years behind bars.